Normal and abnormal heart rate and rhythms can be calculated basis on the ECG recording. So we have ECG strip in which the small square is being covered by 0.04 second in running ECG strip whereas the large square is being covered by 0.2 seconds. However, the running ECG strip covers the 1 second by 5 large squares. So, 5 large squares being covered by 1 second or 5 into 5, 25 mm small squares being covered by 1 second. So, like that 1500 small squares covered by 60 seconds. So, whereas 300 of large squares covered under 60 seconds. So, 1500 upon 5 large squares, we will get the 300. So, 300 per minute or 60 second. Otherwise, 30 upon 6, 30 large squares being covered per 6 seconds. So, we can calculate the rate and rhythm basis on 3 ways, 1500 upon 60, 300 upon 60 and 30 upon 6. So, we have ECG right here. So, to calculate the, the rate or rhythm, so we have to count how many large boxes and small boxes covered between 2 RR interval. So, 300 upon large boxes or large squares plus small squares. Here we have 2 large squares and uh, 2 small squares. 1 small square equivalent to 0.2 here. 0.2 into 2. So, we will get because uh, it is covered by two small squares. So, 300 upon 2.4 will get 25 beats per minute. So, the in second example, 1500 upon 12 small squares being covered between 2 hour interval of the same example will get same 125 beats per minute. So, this is one way of calculation of the heart rate. So, what if the rhythm is irregular in the recording ECG strip? So, in this case, we have to consider three subsequent peaks, QRS peaks in the recorded ECG. And uh, so, we have to see one, two, three, and how many boxes, subsequent boxes being covered in three uh, rhythms. So, count how many small box, 12 here and uh, 19 over here in the second rhythm and third beat 14. So, here 1500 into 3 subsequent beats upon cumulative or sum of the 3 beat small squares. So, we will get the 100 beats per minute heart rate in regular case. So, if you don't know exactly the, uh, the pattern of heart rate and uh, rhythm, if it is so regular, we have to take the 30 large square count in which how many the peaks, whether it is positive or uh, negative peaks being covered in the 30 large square, which is equivalence of 6 second. So, here we have 16 uh, the peaks have been counted in 30 large squares. So, for 60 second, 16 into 10 will get the 160 beats per minute. This is how we can calculate the heart rate basis on the ECG.